Hello. Oh, I already don't like that intro. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, if you can tell, I don't know if you see the stove. I'm finally gonna get around to doing what I said I was gonna do. Cook with Crystal. Probably the worst cooker in the nation. Somehow, this one dish always comes out delicious. Pat myself on the back. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know what it is because every time I cook it, I post it on my story because I'm so proud of it. People are literally like, is that the only thing you make? And yeah, it, it kind of is. But yeah, so I'm cooking curry. It always somehow comes out really good whenever I make it. Oh, water. Show you guys step by step how I make it. Trust me, when you see how I make it, you're gonna be like, that's what you can cook really well. It's literally a boxed product. And you know, I'm hoping this is my gateway into making more cooking videos. I will motivate myself. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And for each thumbs up, I'll be like, wow, I really should learn how to cook and stop just eating like frozen taquitos and like the little pizzas. I have my setup right here and I have the things we need. I'm kind of short on them, but I have what I need. Most important is this golden curry sauce mix. Carrots onions and potatoes, rice because you have to make rice for your curry, meat. <laughs> it doesn't look like it right now, but I'm defrosting some beef right here. It's also currently like 4.45, so if it gets dark, I'll turn on the light and then the lighting will get really yellow, but oh well. It's gonna tie up my hair. And then wash your hands because I've been touching my hair a lot and these hands need to be washed. I'm feral. I also need a cutting board. That's like obvious because I need to cut the stuff. So first you're gonna wash your veggies because you need your veggies to be clean. And then peel your onion, which I hate doing. Anyone else? I don't wanna like jinx myself. I don't cry when I cut onions. Like I never have cried while cutting onions. I don't know if I'm blessed or if my eyes are like Something's wrong with me. Did I not peel it enough? Oh no, now I'm peeling the actual onion. Anyway, I'm gonna have so many people that actually cook comment down below and tell me everything I'm doing wrong and like the wrong knives I'm using and everything too. And I, for you, I just wanna say the fact that I cook at all is a great thing. So how I cut this onion is someone told me that you have to like cut the ends off first. Oh, it's peeling, okay. Did I peel it all the way? Wait, I stopped the peel. Please hold. There, now she's pretty. And then I'll cut the other side. La, 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 la. I'm gonna cut it in half. Definitely using the wrong knife because I don't think it should be this hard. So then you have two halves of an onion and then you just cut it like this, I believe, or is it like this? Actually, it's like this, OMG. Crystal, this way. So, right, right. I mean, I don't, oh my gosh, wait, I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh. Oh, guys, this is the first time I've ever cried. <laughs> this is not fake. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I guess I'll just keep cutting. It's okay if they come out ugly because I'm just gonna throw them into the curry anyway. Perfection is not what matters when cooking good food. That works. This works, everything is fine. Onions, and then, oh, don't roll away. I have my carrot, which I just cut into pieces. Since I only have one carrot, I'm gonna cut them into smaller pieces so I can trick people into thinking that I have more carrots. Carrot! I really played myself by saying that I don't cry while cutting onions. Because that was literally the first time. Oh, I touched my face. Let me wash my hands. Let's check on the meat. Meat. She feels soft and not frozen anymore. So let's just say she's good to go. Steak for marinating. And I'm just going to cut it up. Obviously, you can skip the meat if you're vegetarian, vegan, pescatarian. Um, I don't think fish would go good in curry, but I mean, if it does, by all means, beauty of a piece of meat. Oh, the bottom is still kind of cold, but 
that's gonna, that's part of life. I think my dad told me to use this knife. It could also be this knife. On to the meat. So what I typically do is I just like cut it into whatever little cuby. Sometimes the meat will have like white hanging from it. I don't know if you guys can see that. My dad told me that's the fat and we don't really like fat or care for it. So I tend to just take it off of pieces if it's an excess. Yay, so we have our meat and then now I'm going to marinate this meat in the bowl. So what I typically like to do, get the rest of this garlic that I always use for my curry. So I'm out of garlic, so I have to stop. Soy sauce, some pepper, 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 some seasoned salt because me and my family are seasoned salt benches, some garlic salt because who doesn't love, what does salt give you, high cholesterol? Korean barbecue marinade because like, oh, oh, that was a lot. And then I just kind of mix it. Mix, mix, mix. So I use these potatoes because I'm too lazy to like peel them and cut them and all that. Even though these low key take more work. So these potatoes are like little potatoes. So these are the like three pots I use. I'm gonna use this one for the rice, this one for the potatoes, and this one for the overall curry. I'll typically turn the fire on like a little medium. I kind of just wing it. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was fancy. Because if I just put them in the curry, they don't typically like cook fully through. And it also comes with like a sauce packet and I put that in after I like cook the potatoes for a bit. So I'll kind of just like poke holes into the potatoes so that they get like cooked on the inside. Technical difficulties happen. Oh, this potato stuck on my knife. And then we can start cooking our meat. So I like to cook the meat first for a little bit. Put them in the curry bowl first. And like cook them until the outsides are like, just like when they start looking brown, I will take them out of the pot on the side and add them back later. Turn on the fire. I don't really know how much oil. I just put oil. I'll kind of just put them um, little by little so that there's not too much meat at once. So I'll just put that much and then kind of just like turn them when they turn a little like brown. Don't like fully, fully kick it through because it's going to cook in the curry. Camera died, so I'm going to use my phone just for a little bit while my camera is charging. Some pieces I already took out and put there. So I'll just check these if the sides aren't like red, red. I'll just take them out already. So then I'm just gonna turn it to low. After that, you have like the juices kind of and everything from the beef. Throw in the onions and caramelize them. Is that the word? Am I a chef by this point? Basically, throw four of them around until they get caramelized. So the onions are caramelizing. I put the sauce packet that came with the potatoes in it, which is why it looks like it's covered in like herbs and like garlic and stuff. It smells so good. And I'll throw the carrots in. Let them mix in for a little bit together before I put the meat back in. So then I let my vegetables saute for like a couple minutes before I add back my meat. Maybe goodness. Boop. All of the veggies are in there with the meat now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some cups of water to kind of just cover it up. I usually cover it till like the meat is covered or the it's almost covered. where it's almost covering the meat. I'm gonna bring it to a boil. I'm just gonna leave it covered for about 12 to 15 minutes while boiling. This whole video is just literally gonna be back and forth in quality of my camera and my iPhone. You can tell this is very iPhone quality. Now I'm gonna make me rice. I just make, and it looks like about enough. I'm gonna watch your rice, which is when you just, you know, put water, rinse it through, pour it out. I do that about two times. 
And then I put water in my rice. I'm normally like hands clean, of course. Put my finger in when I put the water. When it's like up to my first like line on my finger right there, generally correct. And I typically don't put like any seasoning or anything in there. You can put salt. Sometimes I put salt or maybe butter. Since the rice in this case is mainly just like to complement the curry, I won't put anything. And then once it boils a little bit, I will like stir it a little bit and then I'll cover it, put it to simmer for about like 18 minutes. As my curry is cooking, I'm literally watching Run BTO or something over sizzling. I'm so happy Run BTO is back. Wow, I hope my camera doesn't die because this lighting is so much better than my phone lighting. Look at my new photo cards. Well, I've had the Taehyung one on here for a while, but I bought this Lucas one at the Super M pop up. They just look so good together. Looking in the same direction, I just. But curry time! It's getting late, so I'm trying to finish before I have to turn on this yellow light. When I can't see the water in the rice anymore, really, and it looks cooked. I'll just turn off the fire and then I'll put the rice just on the side, but I won't open the lid yet. You still have to let the steam kind of like cook everything. I open the curry, you just it looks like this. You kind of just crack it because these are all different like blocks. Crack them. The curry block. Ah! Blocks into the curry. I'll kind of just throw them about. I'll put three in first. I like to use this like wooden spoon and then I'll kind of just stir it about. And you'll start to see like the curry thicken too. My family likes the curry thinner than thicker, but still thick. Thick kaka. Not thick kaka, but thick kaka. Kind of just let it cook for a little longer on like medium low. And lastly, because I'm I think she's done. Looking pretty fly, if you ask me. Mm. Always try your cooking before you feed others in case it's like gross. You still have time to get rid of it. Okay. Let's try you. A little longer than a few minutes later. Update. I waited a little to get food because I was hungry, hence it's dark. Just gonna get a bowl for my karai. We're going to open, and I think she looks pretty yummy. Oh, we loving this. So I have a good amount of rice, and then I'm gonna open my curry. Looks very delicious, and it smells, I can't even describe how good it smells. It smells better than anything Eat Jin could ever make. That's right, sucked in. I just called you out. If you're watching this video, try me. I'm just gonna boop. <laughs> Finished creation. Oh, my potato! So let's try her. I'm gonna get the meat with the rice. Potato. Ha! Oh, I think I burned my tongue. But it tasted good. Overall. A very successful cook, I would say. I mean, Gordon Ramsay, if you're watching this, I'm still jobless. So if you would like to give me a job, I will take it. That is the end. I'm finished cooking. I finished trying and it's delicious. I'm about to chow down on this food. I never formally said it, but thank you guys so much for 50K. For some people, it might not be a big number at all, but like I didn't think I'd get past like 1K, 10K, and then here I am at like 50K. Whoa, like if I ever hit 100K in my years of living, I might actually pass out and like die and roll down a hill and like fall into the ocean and drown because I can't. Swim. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave any other video recommendations or if you want me to cook something, link it down below. As long as it has a recipe on Google, I can try it. Hoping to make this cook with crystal things so I start cooking more. Stay cool, stay fresh, stay loving yourself, stay speaking yourself, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Oh.